Good morning. It's super early. Um, I had a lovely breakfast. One, I just wanted to admire this incredible view, which takes my breath away every morning. But um, I'm actually going skiing now, um, and I'm super excited. Skiing is one of my favorite things to do on this planet. It's such an incredibly liberating, at one with nature sport, and I just love it. I could do it all day. So we are on our way to the lift. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining. It snowed the last few days, so it's all white, everything. And these are like the best conditions. Only problem is like minus 22, it's the coldest day of the year. But there's nothing that's gonna make me feel less happy than I am right now, skiing with awesome people. Yay! I'm moss, I'm moss, you know, skiing on the mountain. Yeah, it's a very moss like looking. Try and uh, keep up with me, yeah? No, but don't you like it? I've been buying these so fast. Really? Yeah, they're so old. Hey. Do that, set that. Like that. <laughs> Mimi, Mimi, what do cows drink? Milk. Ah, you idiot! Of course they don't drink milk! Sure. <laughs> you know, I've always loved skiing. The first time I came I was 14, 14, 15. And my parents just managed to save me a bit of money so I can go on my school trip. When I went, and I was so fortunate to have the opportunity, I had the most amazing time and I became instantly hooked. I had everything that I ever loved. I would save enough money just to be able to come skiing because really I believe it's the complete trip. It has everything. One thing that was always interesting is that I was constantly having to navigate how different I was from the people who normally come skiing. And it was majority of the time on two fronts. One was class, of course, Kitzbühel is a, is a sadly beautiful place. It's known for being quite like where lots of rich Germans and Austrians come for their kind of winter holidays and summer holidays. For someone like me, someone who's come from this to this, it's a it's a super interesting dynamic. Like uh, you know, I'm a I'm a Wembley boy. I'm 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 ordinarily like this world would be so kind of detached from my from my from my lived experience but I'm fortunate that I have friends who, who kindly invited me. And I think what's interesting for me is that like I live you know a multitude of different lives and because of that I have very different friends from very different backgrounds but I never see it as a problem. In fact I think it's one of the best things that I love about my life and um, um, and I feel different people have very different um, um, benefits to you as a person and I think you should go out and you should meet as many different kinds of people and it's, and, and it's interesting it's interesting to see like how this world kind of operates and another was race ethnicity I was one of very few if not the only brown person on the slope and these are for a young man quite difficult It is a little bubble. This isn't the real world. But if you're gonna be stuck in a bubble, what a beautiful bubble to be stuck in. And because it's a bubble, of course, if you look a bit different from the norm, people will be curious. So yeah, I get occasional looks every now and then. But to be honest, like 80% of it, people are extremely nice. And there are cases where people aren't so, but it's definitely on the rare side, I would say. Let's go. I built you up. I built you up. Nice Very well. All the girls are watching. All the girls are watching. He is very good, right? I guess on some level, there are times where I feel like this isn't my... Well, maybe I don't quite belong, but I don't think it's because anyone's ever feel, made me feel that way. It's just by virtue of 
looking and feeling quite different from everyone else, no one owns the mountain. And I really wish people from my background would have the opportunity to benefit from its amazingness, its awesomeness. This is such a beautiful place. And I really, in the future, if I am financially capable, really want to make a trip like this a priority for me and my family because there are so many untold lessons in the beauty of nature. Whoa, nearly died. <laughs> We just had a lovely lunch and it's time to go back on the piece. I'm gonna risk my life with you guys to take some nice shots. Yo, yo, 